Carlo from Games Brains Headbang Live, GBHBL.com for short. And it is my pleasure to be standing here with Borstel, who this morning played to a very hungover but very welcoming crowd. How was that for you? It was great. Um, it was our debut show. Um, really, it couldn't have gone any better. Yeah. Um, yeah, everyone's really happy. The band's in high spirits. We played great, it sounded great. The response was fantastic. You know, and we really didn't know what to expect because we've never played a show before. Mm. And so, yeah, it was really good. And uh, yeah. So, you, you know the pressure that comes as well with being the first band on the main stage on a Saturday morning. Yeah, and also because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. I've been out of the game for 18 months. This is my first gig in almost two years. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it felt strange and, you know, everyone had the anxiety, but as after the first song, you know, we just got in the comfort zone and it went great. And it was over before we knew it. Do you think people will be surprised to hear you say that, that you do have that anxiety about playing? Because although Borstal's first show, you know, you, you, you were, yeah. you're, you've been around. Yeah, it's, well, like I say, I haven't played in almost two years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, to be, you know, playing an open air festival such like Bloodstock, which is, you know, a great festival, um, you know, usually the first gigs are like usually in, in some pub or club with yeah. like, you know, 10 people <laughs> and a dog. You know, you know what I mean. So it was great to see the response and you know the positive feedback that we got. It must have been incredibly encouraging as well because it's all about the growth. And uh, we were there and we're watching, and the crowd's quite sparse. They're spread out and they're yeah. waiting, and then it just grows and grows and grows and grows. Yeah, and you could see people having a good time, singing along, dancing, you know, doing the thing, and it's great. It's really good to see to see everyone enjoying themselves. And how, how have you been coping throughout the last 18 months? Because obviously from the biggest to the smallest band in the entire world, everyone's been affected by the pandemic. Yeah, well, I haven't been surviving really. It's mm. been really tough. I mean, you know, the mental health took a few knocks here and there along the way, you know, and then all the, you know, the worry, the financial worries. But somehow, you know, I, I just managed to keep my head above water and, you know, here we are. Hopefully this is, you know, the end of it and, you know, Things are back to normal, hopefully. Do you see this kind of like the first proper step now for Borstal? Because obviously you've already had a release and you've not been able to tour and do as much as you might like. This is the kind of, I'd say, first show onwards? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, we, you know, it's a serious band. It's a full-time band. Mm. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, because today was such a success, we're hoping that, you know, the positive feedback, you know, that will put us on promoters' radars and, you know, things are going to start stepping up plus you know we're constantly writing uh we, we're going to release a seven inch single a double a side in january and we're going to film two videos for those songs awesome. we played them today and then we're right you know we're uh, we've got 10 11 songs for an album which i'm hoping to get signed by you know one of the labels of course of course of um, course yeah and uh, everything's working great um, ben ward from orange goblin mm. uh he, he's got a booking agency now route one he's our agent you know, and uh, yeah, so hopefully today is the beginning of, you know. The momentum's there, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. And would you say, like, then Borstal and the success that's coming from this is the most positive thing you've been able to take out of the last 18 months? Because we do like to focus on the positive side yeah, of things. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, because none of us live in the same town, mm. it was really easy to get it together because of, you know, technology and the internet. So, the, the, really, the pandemic, kind of helped us you know write all of this great music uh, you know so uh, it's it, that's the only positive I could say out of such a horrible thing that affected the entire world it's positive things that we need yeah definitely and this is positive mm. this is great you know I've, this is the first time in 18 months so many of my friends are all in one place and how did it feel like when you cut? How long have you been here? Have you, when did you get here? Uh, we were here at 8 o'clock sharp this morning. Okay, so when you first sort of stepped on site, did oh, you kind of have like. It, it was really, it was kind of surreal, like, you know, whoa, this this is weird. Then, <laughs> I remember this now, you know, and then, yeah, it was all good. And yeah, just seeing like loads of people that you know, like, you know, production crew, mm. band members, friends in general, you know, punters, it, it's really great to see everyone in high spirits and, you know, yeah. So the trepidation kind of went and you felt a bit comfortable. It's just like yeah. two years of what yeah. really happened. De yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I'm sure in a couple of years' time we'll all look back a bit, at back of it and just think, wow. That was the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this is the end and 
it's great to see everybody here today. Are you planning to hang around for the rest of the weekend? Yeah, well, today, um, I'm going to see if I can wangle a pass for tomorrow. Because <laughs> uh, I'd like to see Priest and of Saxon. Uh, but yeah, we're going to stick around today. I want to see Cradle of Filth and uh, just see Paradise Lost. And then, oh, of course, Creator. I love Creator. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, there's a lot of bands here, you know, we're friends with a lot of people. So it's a great atmosphere. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?